Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Let me start with prominent Noel, who was previously UPND at the time of uh, the PF and he crossed because he believed uh, that is where Bat and uh, Hani could be found. And this time I think he is facing reality because the, bo the body capsized. Now, Noel, Noel, you see, that this is how ignorant he is. There is a topic under discussion which have been guided correctly by the moderator. So he wants me to talk about things that... Uh, are not part of the topic. They don't even form part of the conversation. I think it would only be fair, uh, Godwin, if we can have more time to deal with other issues such as what he has raised, which we've been dealing with. But I know that uh, on his part is deliberate. But the point is that he's saying, don't talk about PF. We will talk about PF. So that we are doing a comparative analysis. To just make you understand how ignorant uh, Noel prominent is, is that when he says, you said you are going to reduce minimum to 50. The church did not say immediately. Running the country is a process. The mess that you, you, you caused prominent is in, in so many years is too much, so huge. You caused huge mess that it cannot be dealt with in less than two years. The debt in Kongole, prominent, for us to deal with them in a day. Wukabola la mwaiva. Wakulisha for it to be dealt with immediately. We need the due process of the law. The contractors, your contractors who are crying foul for supplying air. That is theft of public and most of them will be prosecuted. So we will talk about those things. We will not run away. I was giving you an example so that you don't we do drink the people. That in 2020 your president received two billion US dollars in pledges from the United States of America. Because you want to paint or um, twist people to begin thinking that it is the first time the USA is giving Zambia. Therefore, their intention of giving Zambia is to bring homosexuality. That is the, what the narrative you are pushing. When you have been challenged on the narrative of homosexuality, you don't want to face me in the debate. You start another debate. I wanted you to face me on the things that I've raised. Okay? Because those are the things. You are done an allegation. And that's how PF operates. When they realize they have no more content to debate with you on the things that was what I've been doing, I was raising issues of homosexuality and then also be giving a point. I raised issues of them saying, why didn't he visit Etika? And then I raised the idea they don't want to talk about those things because they have nothing to talk about. It's their capacity to debate, which is at play. Now, the next point that I want to raise, Ubunga, there are market forces at play. Running in the country is a process. Okay, the market forces is fuel, it is forex, which things are being addressed. Okay, and nobody said there is no solution to it. Fertilizer now will now be produced in this country, which will reduce the cost of producing maize. And that is progressive for the people of Zambia. The next thing you're talking about, uh, no fertilizer cost, can it be reduced? You were importing yourselves and you had lined up people that were supplying. You have one person supplying almost all the 10 countries, 10, 10 provinces. So, you are wrong people to talk about it. You went and shut down in Deni. And you allowed oil marketing companies, including Kadas, to be the one to supply fuel. You found fuel at 5, five quarter. It went up to 17. You, you are talking about Minimum. Your Minimum in 2020 was 195 quarter. You moved Minimum yourselves from 37 quarter to 197 quarter to 95 quarter. You had to raise it by 143 quarter, somewhere there about. That is the price of minimum. You raised it, now your friends come. Minimum goes up by 30 quarter. It, you are speaking as though heaven has collapsed. You must have a sense of shame. You raised minimum by 100, by over 140 quarter. Minimum price today due to these forces I have talked about before has gone up by over 30 quarter. But get the noise from themselves. You found fuel at 5. You left it at 17. You raised it above 12. 
You left it at 17. Then you are complaining in a very short period. Kwacha was at 22 kwacha. Against the dollar. It is a 19 something. You are speaking as if heaven has, has collapsed. And yet, you left it at 17 kwacha. To a dollar. So now, these are things people need to see through. Drugs, in, as I wind up. In 2021, you allocated 1.6 billion. I have this information on my fingertips. 1.6 billion towards the procurement of medicine. And the country's medical supply was at 30%. In 2022, the new Don government raises this supply to 53% and increased the budget allocation to 3.3, about around 3.4%, 3.4 billion US dollars. Million, I mean, million watch. Billion watch. So, there is this change. If you increased from 1.6 million to 3.4, which is about two times your cost, raising the supplies in hospitals to 53, the WHO threshold is about 70 and above. Meaning in less than one year, Zambia is headed for the WHO threshold. But for you to realize medicine in all hospitals, you must understand that Health centers in Zambia are classified. What am I saying in winding up? There is a health post, there is a clinic, there is a level one hospital, there are specialized hospitals. At a health post, you find first aid medicine there. You will not find specialized doctors. You will not find on a door written gyneco gynecologist at a health post. If you are, you are talking about Kalilwe, Kalilwe health post, it will never have a gynecologist there. It's not a specialized hospital. You have specialized hospitals like Levy, UTH, Cancer Hospital, Heart Disease Hospital. Those are specialized hospitals. And when you go to UTH, you find we're going to find a gynecologist. Which gynecologist you will not find at Chibombo Clinic? And so, what the government the, 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 the government has done? This is how the system operates. They have put ambulances there, so that when a specialized matter comes. They take you to where they are found. Now, for a person who doesn't know in Shibombo, when they go there with the cancer of the stomach, they go to the clinic, then they are given Panadol. They say, ah, this, this clinic is finished. How can they give me Panadol? Because at a, at, at a health post, they'll give first aid medicine, which go in a kit. It's a kit. They sell a kit. That's the one they supply. This kit will have maybe, with the most common diseases, it will have Panadol, it will have brufen, it will have coatem, it will have those first aid treatment medicine. When you go to a specialized hospital, that's where you find different drugs. That's how it works. But we are not saying there is no medicine. There is no sufficient medicine. And I agree. Reason being that we have moved from 30% supply under the PF to 53% in 2022. Meaning we are headed somewhere. Why are we, are we saying we are headed somewhere? In 2023, the allocation stands at 4.6 billion million, which is about close to four times the 2021. Meaning, we may move above 53 percent. We are heading somewhere. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.